Hi there! Welcome to NCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will talk to you about setting up your own digital forensics lab at home to practice Linux forensics. The ability to perform Linux forensics is a highly sought after skill. The good news is, you can learn how to perform Linux forensics all by yourself. All you need is a computer and the motivation to learn a lot. Here is some direction to help you get started. There are some prerequisites to get started in Linux forensics. You should be familiar with what Linux distributions are, basic concepts in Linux like file permissions, file types, Linux directory structure, etc., and how to use Linux command line tools. If these topics are new to you, I invite you to get started with the basics of Linux. NCSI's library has an entire section on Linux concepts. You can find the link to it in the description box below. The only equipment you require to practice Linux forensics is a laptop or virtual machine running a Linux operating system. I would recommend using Ubuntu, as it is easy for beginners to use. As for tools, you can start off with using the basic command line tools that come installed with every Linux machine. You can install other tools as you go along with your learning. Now that you have a good foundation on Linux and you also have your equipment set up, the next step is to create practice projects. Here is an idea. Let us work with shell history. On a Linux machine, the shell is similar to the command prompt that you would find on a Windows computer. It is where you would type commands to interact with the computer. A log of every command typed is stored in a special file referred to as the shell history file. Cyber criminals utilize commands to carry out their malicious activity. You can find a record of the malicious commands typed within the shell history of a computer. Now you are aware of the forensic importance of shell history. Go ahead and process the shell history on your lab computer. Here's how you can go about this. Research about where the shell history file is stored and how it records the typed commands. Open up the shell and type some commands. Find the shell history file on your computer. Copy the shell history file to a USB drive or to another folder on your computer. This is to simulate the acquisition of evidence from a computer. Process the contents of the shell history file. Can you identify the commands that you had typed recently? If you can find them, that's great. If not, research again about how the shell history records data. You can figure it out. There is an article in MCSI's library that details the forensic importance of Linux shell history. I am sure you will find it interesting. You can find the link to that article in the description box below. Another important concept to remember during forensic investigations is hashing. Once you acquire any evidence, it is critical to ensure that the evidence remains unchanged throughout the entire investigation. For this reason, a hash value can be calculated. If the hash value of a piece of evidence, say a shell history file, taken once the evidence is acquired, matches the hash value taken after the evidence has been processed, then it is assured that the integrity of the evidence is maintained. There is an article in MCSI's library that highlights the importance of hashing. You can find the link to that article in the description box below. Now you have successfully completed your first practice project in your own home lab. Congratulations! Once you choose to study about the forensic artifacts of a specific Linux feature, gather multiple resources and understand how the feature works. Then, understand what the forensic value of that feature is. Simulate a project in your lab setup. Acquire the evidence. Calculate hash values. Process the evidence and see what data you can find about your project. Calculate the hash values again, once your project is over, to validate the integrity of the evidence. Visualize this. At some point in the future, you are an expert Linux digital forensics professional, helping out with a real-world investigation. How did you get there? By practicing regularly to perform Linux forensics. Research about the possible forensic artifacts you can gather from a Linux computer. In your lab, practice to acquire and process those artifacts. Think about how a cyber criminal may misuse a computer, come up with practice scenarios on your own. Practice a lot. You will get there soon. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.